For the final core component, let's take a look at the alert component. Technically, it serves more as an API than a typical component. Rather than rendering it as part of JSX, you invoke methods that generate UI elements. When using alert, you can launch an alert dialog with a specified title and message. Additionally, you have the option to include a list of buttons. To understand its usage, let's switch back to VS Code. First, import the alert component from React Native. In the JSX of the app component, define a button within the view component. Make sure to also import the button component. On the button component, we add a title called alert and an on press prop. This is going to be an arrow function where we invoke alert, which is our import dot alert. To this, we specify a string invalid data. When we take a look at the UI, we should see our alert button. Pressing it will display the alert dialog. By default, it includes an OK button. The appearance of the alert dialog may vary slightly between the two platforms. The string invalid data serves as the title of the alert dialog and is a mandatory parameter. We can also optionally specify a message as the second parameter. Let me duplicate the button, call this alert2, and add a second argument to alert.alert, .alert, which is again a string. Date of birth, incorrect. Take a look at the UI, press alert2, and we see the title and the message. Invalid data, date of birth, incorrect. Moving on, let's discuss how we can control the buttons shown in the alert. On iOS, you can specify any number of buttons, while on Android, the limit is three. Let's create an alert with two buttons. So I'm going to duplicate the button component, call this alert three, and on press, we're going to call alert.alert .alert invalid data. The second argument is date of birth incorrect. And now we specify a third argument. This is an array. Within the array, we specify objects with text, for example, cancel, and a corresponding on press handler. On press, Let's define an arrow function that simply locks to the console, cancel pressed. I'm going to duplicate this object, change text to OK, and handler to OK pressed. If we return to the simulator, press alert three, we will see the two buttons. Clicking on these buttons, so cancel, will log the corresponding message in the terminal. Cancel pressed, click on OK, and we have OK pressed. The messages defined in the event handlers. Now alert is just one of the many available APIs in React Native. For the full comprehensive list of APIs that can be used when building apps, please refer to the documentation. Development. APIs. All right, if you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.